Bringing y'all Bluegrass Sports Media here. Today we're going to talk about the top five former Wildcats that are poised to have a breakout season in the NFL in 2021. Before we get into that, um, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below. We really did a great job growing this channel, um, and I really appreciate it. So let's get into the top five. So I want to put something out there first. There are some people that I have as honorable mentions on this list that a lot of you guys are going to be upset with. Um, it's not that I don't think they don't have the talent to have a breakout season in 2021. It's just the situation they're in is not, is not very conducive for them to have um, a breakout season in 2021. Uh, let's get to the honorable mention. I only have one honorable mention. Benny Snell. Um, Benny Snell... Probably the greatest running back to ever play at the University of Kentucky. Um, you know, there's been some good ones like Derek Locke, um, Lindale Smallwood, um, and guys like that. But it's – Pittsburgh Steelers drafted a first-round running back in Najee Harris. Najee Harris does everything Benny Snell does, but he's a first-rounder. I mean, he does everything – he, he does be the first rounder, which means they didn't like the production they were getting from Benny at that position. So they went out and drafted him one in the first round. That's why I think he's not in my – he's that's why he's not in my top 25 um, Wildcats poised to break out in 2021. Let's get into who is in the top five of my Wildcats to break out in 2021. Number five, my favorite Wildcat of all time probably. Logan Stenberg. Logan Stenberg is one of the nastiest offensive linemen I've ever seen play the game. I mean, he is just nasty. He's physical with the point of attack. One of the best run blockers in college football when he came out. The Detroit Lions drafted Logan uh, in the fourth round, I think pick 121. Um, and he, he didn't play much last year in his rookie season. They have since hired a head coach in Dan Campbell who really want, who really embraces physicality and really wants to run the football. And Logan is a great fit for their system. He's just a great fit for their system, what they want to do there. So that's why I think he's going to have a breakout season. I think he's going to become the starting guard. And, you know, hopefully he'll bite some kneecaps there in Detroit. So I have him at number five. Number four. I debated between number four and number three um, a lot. But number four, I have Lynn Bowden. The reason I have Lynn Bowden at number four instead of number three, the number three guy you'll see in a minute, is just opportunity. I mean, just like uh, Benny Snell, the Miami Dolphins also drafted a receiver in the first round. The only difference is that more than one receiver plays at a time now. Dave's in the NFL, so he has a little better of an opportunity to make a name for himself in Miami. Um, I really think he could have a really good season playing out of the slot this year, uh, utilizing his explosiveness, quickness. And he's really just a Swiss Army knife of a football player. Really great, versatile player that I think could be poised to make a breakout in 2021 for the Miami Dolphins. You know, two is in his second year in the system. Um, he's, got, he's grown to learn um, the things that um, Lynn and him have grown probably a relationship. I don't know. I'm not an insider on that, but I think Lynn Bowden is my number four to break, uh, poise Wildcat to me to break out in 2021. Number three, like I said, I debated on Lynn Bowden and Calvin Joseph, who's my number three guy. All like those are my biggest debates on this list. Calvin Joseph is a rookie, second round pick from the Dallas Cowboys. You know, in the in the pre coming up to the draft, I was not very high on Kevin Joseph. I seen he was rising on draft boards because of his, um, you know, basically freak athleticism. I thought Eccles was a better corner, but you know, Kevin Joseph has something you can't teach, and that's that freak athleticism. I mean, once if he gets the right coaching in Dallas, and he's going to be on the other side of Trayvon Diggs, it could be an explosive. They could be a one-two punch. You know, I don't want to say – I don't want to say they could be the Legion of Boom, 
but they're very lank, they're very big corners. So they they're the corners that new defensive coordinator Dan Quinn is going to want. So that's why I have Kelvin Joseph at number three. I think he has so much potential. His body and athleticism has allows him to have so much potential in Dan Quinn's scheme. And that's why I have him at number three. Number two, another rookie from this last past year's draft, Jamin Davis. Jamin Davis was a first-round pick, uh, 19th overall, by the Washington football team. So Jamin Davis was the best linebacker on Kentucky football team last year. Um, he was he's another guy just like Kelvin Joseph, athletic freak for the position. I mean, athletic freak. Now, the reason I have Jamin Davis number two, one, he's a linebacker and he's explosive. He's a sideline to sideline linebacker. Two, he has seven first round picks on the on the front line. I'm pretty sure for him with Deron Payne, um, Montez Sweat, uh, dude, they have everybody. Um, Chase, Chase Young. I mean, they're stacked up front, which is going to allow him to do what he does and flow the football. He may he he may lead the team in tackles this year. He's that type of athlete. I mean, there's not really much else like I said. He's that type of athlete. He could be a defensive player of the or not defensive player, a defensive rookie of the year in this class, I think. I think he definitely poised to have a great season in 2021. Number one on my list, none other than Josh Allen. Josh Allen is poised to become, in my opinion, he's gonna vault himself in the echelon of a Von Miller, of a Joey Bosa, of both both the Bosa brothers and maybe a J.J. Watt as such a pass rusher. Everybody on this list besides really Logan Stenberg is an athletic freak. Josh Allen, I mean, he's probably maybe the freakiest athlete on this list. He, He's just, I mean, there's no other word to use it but freak. Josh Allen coming into a new regime under Coach Urban Meyer. I have had some criticisms of the Tim Tebow thing coming in, but – I think they're going to get Josh Allen right. I think Josh Allen probably has a 10 to 15 sack season. I think he's going to break out in 2021. And you could say he break he's broken out before, but I think his big year is still yet to come in 2021. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know if I missed any cats um, that you guys think could be breakout in 2021. And uh, yeah, like, share, and subscribe to the video. Um, we're trying to grow the channel. And I appreciate it, guys. Have a good day.